Hi guys, in this video today, we will look at inner HTML. So inner HTML is a property in JavaScript that you can apply on elements objects. We've looked at um, how to access HTML elements from within our scripts uh, in previous videos using uh, get element by ID. So I have this code here. I'm going to clear what I had for the previous tutorial in the HTML documents. We have body, we have a P element with the ID, hey, and I have this piece of text here. If you check the live documents, uh, I'm using the live server. So if you check the documents here, you will see what we have is YouTube subscribers, whatever. So this is coming actually from my script right here because I'm using um, inner HTML. Uh, first of all, I I get uh, the paragraph here by accessing it from within the HTML documents using get elements by ID and I pass in the ID and then I set this new piece of text um, for the paragraph uh, using the inner HTML property. So just in case uh, you are wondering why uh, this is useful and why we shouldn't simply uh, add our content directly to our HTML documents. Um, a simple answer will be that uh, in JavaScript, a lot of what you would do will be about uh, the behavior of pages and uh, their layout, etc. You want to manipulate all of that. So when you add content directly to your HTML pages, you are adding the content as static content, which means anytime you load the page, you're going to see the same thing um, unless you edit your page and you change the uh, the content. But imagine this, let's say you have a home page that displays um, the latest news headlines uh, from around the world, it can be the world of sports, whatever. Now the headlines change all the time and you probably get the headlines from a specific source um, through an API, what we call an API. But basically you just get uh, data from an external source uh, maybe you will do a few processing on the data and then you want to display a list of the latest headlines. Well, imagine this, if you have this, uh, a, a set of headline written here, um, let's say headline, headline one, you're going to see headline one, and I'm going to comment out my script here, uh, using uh, control and uh, forward slash. So now we can see headline one, because that's what I've written here. Now, uh, 10 minutes later, there's a new headline, the headline changes. How are you going to display that? You're not going to go back on your server where your website is hosted and edit that uh, page once again. So you would want your scripts to be able to receive the data and then update your documents for you. Now that is known as dynamic content because it changes dynamically uh, depending on uh, the data you receive, depending on some conditions perhaps and all of that. So. That is why um, it is important to access elements and then be able to um, set and retrieve uh, their content using uh, the inner HTML property. Now the inner HTML uh, property can be used to set uh, the contents, HTML contents of an element and also to retrieve it. So here I am setting it because I'm using this assignment operator where I say the HTML contents of paragraph and paragraph accesses this paragraph right here. So I'm saying the, um, this paragraph should have this content equals this contents. So I'm setting that content for that element. Now let's say I add a new, um, a new paragraph P and, uh, by the way, in visual studio code, um, you can also do it like this P you type new and then you hit tab and it will give you a paragraph with the ID new. So uh, that's a quick shortcut, by the way. Anyway, so I have P new here, that's a new paragraph and it's currently empty. So now I go here and I'm going to access new P, new paragraph, and then I'm going to access it, document that gets elements by ID. The ID we use for race was new, so I'm going to write new here. Again, if you're confused about that, make sure you go back and watch my video about get element by ID. Now I've accessed this. You can see that P is currently empty. I can simply say new paragraph dot inner HTML 
equals paragraph dot inner HTML. By the way, paragraph again is the first paragraph we have uh, we have here, the one with the ID hey. So I'm going to write paragraph equals inner HTML. Now check out what happens here. I am now setting paragraph inner HTML, um, this paragraph's contents to this here. So this was setting the value. Now here, I'm going to retrieve the value, the, um, sorry, not setting the value, setting the HTML contents. Now here, I'm going to retrieve paragraphs HTML contents and I'm going to set the new paragraphs HTML contents to uh, the previous paragraphs one. So let's check a quick example here. I'm going to clear this out and then I'm going to remove this and type um, showing you how this works. And we will get this um, for both paragraphs because whatever I'm setting here using inner paragraph uh, paragraph dot inner HTML equals I am uh, retrieving this here paragraph inner HTML which is uh, that is what we have here and I'm setting it to new paragraph dot inner HTML so you can get and set at the same time if you want more on that um, I recommend you also read um, the um, element of inner HTML uh, documentation on uh, Mozilla Developer Network, MDN, uh, which is very helpful, by the way. So one more thing that uh, you need to know as a beginner is that inner HTML doesn't only work for plain text. You can have uh, more dynamic content. So something I could do, for instance, um, would be to have a set of paragraphs within here. So I could say, uh, or not paragraph, I could have a different um, content like strong and let me go back here so that you can see strong showing yeah so strong here and now you can see that that text uh, the text is bold here or I could say this one I want to italicize uh, that piece of text here to make them italics and it reflects here so I can add HTML syntax or um, tags if you want within uh, this now another thing that you need to note is um, I'm going to clear this out and write please like and subscribe which I hope you're going to do by the way <laughs> so here I I've written this ampersand um, character as we would normally write it if you are typing in Microsoft Word, for instance. But it is a safer way to use HTML um, entities here. So HTML entities, I'm going to drop uh, this link in the description of this video. But basically, it provides um, ASCII characters here. So you have entity name. In this case, it is that one. Now, if I go back here, I clear this. And I can simply paste the HTML entity is the same thing. So it's a pretty powerful uh, property in that it will um, um, it uses uh, HTML entities uh, and not simply um, plain text. So you can add tags uh, and more to that. For now, I hope this gives you an idea. Again, make sure you check these links as well. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you share, you subscribe, and catch me for the next tutorial.